Hey, hey, what's up, you guys? Ah, you didn't know which track that I was going to in the beginning, did you? <laughs> Got a more little centipede first thing this morning where they're gonna be digging some grass at. So I've gotten greased and fueled up and Danny is servicing the hopper bottom trailer there. And we're on our way and we got Canadian geese over here in the grass field and in the cornfield. <laughs> well, you're flying across. You want to go be on the right with them. Those guys are running over there. I got a feeling Donny Tide is going to have it mowed up nice and clean around New Creek. Oh yeah, you guys. <laughs> I got a slow roll through here. We ain't been to New Creek in a minute. He's got it mowed back. I didn't even have to bring the brush cutter over there. Wow. <laughs> Got the ditches along our cornfields here mowed. Oh, wait a minute. I, I wonder if the, the test plot guys, oh, wait a minute. The guys laying down that pipe went through our cornfield? Oh. <laughs> I thought the seed test guys had came to come check out the corn and done that. But that's them guys that was laying down the fiber optic cables. But anyway, and they did it right there too. Oh well. All right, we coming back here where they've been digging at. And so I just got turned around. I made the first pass that's closest to where they stopped digging at. There was a bunch of head turning over there because you want to try and keep the tire from dropping off where they dug at. That way it won't skim the grass. But anyway, they were out there waiting on me as soon as I got around the corner. So I didn't want to waste no time trying to put the headband on. And then I'd have been oh, oh, back and forth looking. <laughs> trying to keep that tire lined up. But anyway, we have begun the mowing. And they're using the, the self-cutter down there. Oh, he's cutting some little slabs there. Those are some little tiny slabs. All right, Virgil. <laughs> he's dropping the pallets off like hotcakes now, you guys. <laughs> He has to track back down, meaning drive back down and start back over because it's the right side of the machine that does the digging. Ah, so one of the truck drivers has made it with the 10 wheeler there. He's getting the pallets loaded up. Virgil took him around to the side there. I know it's shaky, this is my phone. My bad. <laughs> well, it looks like they're leaving. And we're about to leave too, you guys, because Dan texted me and said that I can come on to the cornfield. So I'm making this last pass, and we're gonna get out of here too. Alrighty, fellas. is out we can see them ditches better yeah <laughs> look at them ditches <laughs> and now we got new creek area Alrighty, 
So I'm going to grab the little grain truck and take that to the field. But before I do, I gotta check under the hood and make sure the twin turbos are still intact, the twin turp skis. <laughs> ah yeah, they're ready to haul buggy. Or should I say haul corn? <laughs> that was corny. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we have arrived to the field. Look like Danny just pulled up with the grain cart there. We're gonna have to take the grain cart and the bush hog to the next little field where Dan is picking at. I'm gonna see which one Danny wants to take. He'll probably take the grain cart. So I was just talking to Danny. He had been bush hogging some earlier over here by the road. He wants me to hit that before I head to where Dan is. Yeah, I see what he means. He was gonna mow this section over here that's grown up super tall with sickle pods. Yeah, it's pretty nasty out there. That's sort of a sore thumb right here by the road. So we're gonna see if we can get that mowed down. Woo, yeah, look at them. I forgot the name of them things right there. But it's taking it on down, mowing like it's supposed to. Since we change them clutch discs. Wowee. Yep, the corn drown here and we got a field full of sickle pods. I'm yet working on it. Not mowing it real close. since we're heading out there's some white poles sticking up right there that's why that patch is there but anyway yeah it won't look like such a sore thumb anymore i had one more sore thumb here i was trying to get cleaned up and danny just made it back with the grain cart i'm finally gonna head to the field where he just came from all right, you guys, changing plans. We got to get moved before I do any more bush hogging. I might not get to go to that field because it took me a little while to get that first patch mowed. So we'll see. Oh, they cutting some trees here. So the first farm Dan picked this morning was a small farm. Didn't take him long. And so now we'll move to this farm. Hopefully the corn will be better here on this farm, you guys. At least it looks taller. It's more cleaner looking. So we're gonna wait for Danny to get here with the grain cart and hopefully Dan will take us both back to get the bush hog and Danny can get the freight liner truck. So it looks like I will have time to mow some at Dedrick's before they need me where we just got moved to. Okay, wow. Yeah, that's bad over there. Once again, this is normally a wet farm, even when it's dry. And earlier in its growing season, most of 
most of it drowned, which is why there's so many weeds growing up badly out here. Looks like he picked a little bit, but the majority of it got left. We gonna work on it a bit. Cut a pass down the middle here. to make our last pass it's not finely mowed but we want it to knock down that super tall stuff I'm gonna have to spray it soon anyway yep that will do you guys Alright, Dedrick, you got them ditches looking good there. Look at them ditches. <laughs> he was weed eating the ditches when we pulled there. And I love his sign. Jesus, I only hope. Y'all remember that, right? Well, anyway, we gonna get on the road. So y'all saw where they was cutting trees earlier. They doing it on both sides of the highway. They're gonna uh, make some type of, I don't know, ramp or over, not an overpass, but some type of roadway where you can get off the highway more easier here. I just really mommicked up what I was trying to say. <laughs> but anyway, they got the track there in there cutting the trees. And let me tell you, that joker been laying them trees in piles straighter than I don't know what, man. He laying them trees down so evenly. I'm like, man, you got some serious skill with that joker. Look at that. <laughs> There's the one we saw earlier. I'd rather use that one with the tracks on it. <laughs> but yeah, they're supposed to be doing some type of road project through here. And so we have arrived here where Dan is picking. I gotta get these in rolls mode. Got Dan picking over there. From the distance, it looks like it's some okay corn out there. He's not going super fast. Yesterday he was going fast because it was nothing out there and it doesn't bog the machine down when there's nothing out there. Look at the deer, just run out of the corn. Y'all saw that? <laughs> Getting ready to unload. Coming out of the spout there. All right, you guys, so Jack just got here. I got the green cart fully loaded back there. We're gonna get it loaded onto him. Get the auger folded out. What's up? We'll put the first batch up front all right P 
PTO on. And we're gonna open the gate. It's starting to pile up. How we like to load the trucks is get the front loaded and then move to the back. And this being a smaller trailer, you can heap it up pretty high. Now, if it was a, a hopper bottom trailer, you wouldn't load it quite as high. Well, some of the hopper bottom trailers anyway, some of them hopper bottom trailers are like super tall, the body of it, and you can't load it up to where you can see it over the top or you'll be overloaded. All right, so I'm gonna walk it on down to the back here. That way all the weight isn't up front to begin with. And we'll slow the RPMs down some because it's getting just about empty. You know when that joker starts shaking, it's, it's about empty. And the flow of it has slowed down. that'll do it we're gonna close the gate and turn off the PTO and we'll get another load from Dan over here alrighty you guys let's see is he gonna unload here Nope, not yet. Okay. <laughs> Guess he'll make another round. So he actually finished the field and he's gonna unload that on Jack and then he's gonna carry me to get the little truck, the little grain truck. And I can haul a load to the shop. And while I'm at the shop, I take lunch as well. So it, it's all gonna work out. It's all gonna work out. Can we fit in between here? Yeah, we'll be good. So Dan told me the proper terminology for what they're building is gonna be a flyway. So yeah, this is just the beginning stages of it, getting the trees cut for them to do what they need to do. So we made it back and he's gonna go pick way in the distance and I'll get the load with the grain cart and fill up the truck there and then I'll go and take lunch. Starting on the field rolls now. Pretty crazy how that corn is so green that way and then this way it's more dried down looking got more of a brown look looks like Danny has made it over here now he'll probably want to unload coming down on the next pass all right I wasn't ready for this but I guess we're gonna do an unload on the go since Danny is back. Oh, this is the first time. I don't have, I probably don't have the GoPro adjust it right. Yeah, I wasn't ready for this, you guys. <laughs> 
But we got it. Unloading on the go. Can y'all see? I don't know, man. I can't reach my hand up there to try to adjust it. Going about four miles an hour. I let him adjust his speed to position it where he wants it. <laughs> Alrighty, like I said earlier, I'm gonna load up my truck and take lunch and then Danny will grab the grain cart and go get what he needs from Dan. I'm gonna give the reins over to Danny. <laughs> All right, you guys, we heading on to the shop. All right, you guys, so I've actually had lunch and it's about 3.20 p.m. right now. So yeah, it's late over in the evening. I told y'all I take late lunches, but anyway, I'm gonna get this truck unloaded. And hey, to those of you who hadn't seen what goes on down here at the pit and the elevator and the grain bins, you gotta check out Tuesday's video, all right? I'm not gonna show you in this video. Yeah, I'm gonna make you have to work some. You have to scroll back through some videos to see what's about to take place. <laughs> all right, so I will check back in probably when I get on the road or to the field. Yeah, all right. All right, you guys, we've made it back to the field. Dan just got Jack loaded. It looks like Jack just woke up. <laughs> Those jokers stay busy, him and his buddy. So anyway, we are gonna try and get the grain cart filled up so that whenever Danny gets back, I can get Danny loaded. He might mess around and get this whole little field on the combine, you guys. We'll see. Well, yep, nope, 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 on the go. Gotta stay ready. <laughs> there must have been something in the grain cart already for it to be that high. Mm. 
Making the last pass. I guess he'll probably want to dump the tiny bit that he got before he starts in the next field over. Or maybe not. <laughs> All right, he's gonna put what he can on here on the end rows. Get it topped off completely. I need to clean some windows. there okay you know what he doing and we are off Danny hadn't made it back yet though so while I'm waiting on Danny to get back you guys I wanted to explain to you about corn yield and corn average so y'all remember I was telling you that the first day it was averaging like 135 and then yesterday it was down to like 60 and then today Dan said it's at like 135 again so the corn's average is a better representation of how it's picking because the yield the corn yield it varies up and down the field depending on how good the corn is and so you can you can yield 250 bushels in a spot going down the field and then you can yield somewhere like 30 and that can destroy the average so look at that that's a that's a decent size ear there that's that's a nice size ear i'll say that yeah that's a nice size ear. i'm grabbing the whole thing and it's got that much left but uh like i said the average is a number that better represents what the corn is doing out here so a good, like I said, a good average is like 160, 170. But uh, thank God that it's doing 135, 140 here on this farm. That's so much better than yesterday, you guys. So much better. Thank God. And I, I like to tell you guys, you know, what it's doing. Because you guys have been with us from day one when we planted it. When I ask you guys for prayers for rain and everything, you know what I'm saying? So, y'all a family. <laughs> oh yeah, these stalks right here are pretty tall, huh? And I continually thank you guys for your prayers because we still got soybeans and peanuts that's growing. And uh, you know, the, the Bible says, you reap what you sow. So we've, we've put in a lot of money into growing the crops and you know it's only our heart's desire to get a good yield to get a good harvest so again i'm gonna go ahead and wrap the video up don't forget to smash the like button for us throw a comment in the comment section let me know oh i'm tripping over stalks these stalks look look, look at the roots they got good roots you guys wow yes man good roots oh my goodness yeah, man. Look at the roots on that. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, throw a comment in the comment section. Let me know what's on your mind. In the meantime, in between time, you guys stay blessed. You guys keep encouraged. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.